Salvete omnes. Let's continue with the Aeneid Book 2. Illam terra parens in ir in retata deorum, extrema ut perhebet, coeo in celado que sororum, progenuit pedibus celeret pernicibus alis, monstro random ingens, cui to quot sunt corpore plumae, tot vigiles oculi super mirabile dictu, tot linguae tot didora sonant tot subricit aures. So let's start with our subject up here, which is terra parens, parent earth, or mother earth. Having been provoked because of her anger towards the gods, this is an object objective genitive, so you could say her anger of the gods. Now our verb is all the way down here, progenuit. So let's go back. Mother earth having been provoked because of her anger towards the gods, bore that last one as a sister, as the story goes, for Coeus and Enceladus. Swift in feet and in her fast wings, a monster to be horrified at, huge, for whom there are so many feathers on her body, or this part is a little bit difficult to translate because of the quote, so let's try this as, for whom for every feather there is on her body, there are so many watchful eyes below, miraculous to describe. There are so many tongues, and so many mouths sound, and she raises, subrigit, she raises, so many ears. So this part is a little bit difficult because of the cooey quote, and all the tot, tot, tot to them. So you really want to translate it as, for whom there are as many feathers on her body, there are so many watchful eyes below, miraculous to describe, so many tongues, and so many mouths make sound, and she raises, subrigit, so many ears. So this part, this last little section here from Tot to Aures is difficult because it switches the subject. We get subrigit, which is a singular verb, but Aures is plural. So that can't be the subject. So you have to imply that the subject here is rumor herself. So it says rumor raises so many ears. And we've got some very obvious anaphora here. Remember anaphora is repetition for effect. We've got tot, tot, tot to them, tot. Um, Virgil here is just describing the horror that is rumor. Monstrum orendum. She's huge ingains. And then he describes how for every feather there is on her body, beneath it there's an eye, and there's a mouth, and there's a tongue, and there's an ear. So rumor is very scary and very unique. Up here, so that's the second part of the passage, but up here Virgil describes how rumor was born, where she came from. She's the daughter of Terra Parens, and Terra Parens. Mother Earth bore her, progenuit, because she was enraged by her anger for the gods. And she was born as a sister to these two giants. So she's saying that um, Elam, remember Elam refers to rumor, was born as a giant and as revenge against the gods because of her mother's anger. And then we get a short description of how fast Rumor is. She is Kellerem with her feet, and she's Kellerem with her swift wings. <laughs>